Would you give a kidney to someone you don't know? Now, we hear about donations between loved ones, but rarely between strangers. And the payoff comes when the donor meets the recipient. It happened today at the Queens Medical Center, and KITV Force Justin Fujioka was there. Ann Hussey has spent a full week living with somebody else's kidney. Today, she met the man who's now a part of her. Mike Bailey says that hug made all the pain of surgery worthwhile. For that, you get this. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> it's cool for Ann, too. Last Monday's transplant ended four long years of suffering. Immediately after the surgery, I felt definitely something different. I said, this, this kidney is really healthy. I, I <laughs> felt something different. I, I did. She says Mike gave her so much more than just a kidney. He restored hope back to me because I didn't have hope. My life consisted of going to dialysis three times a week, and that was it. Mike says he went through years of reflection, and it led him to one conclusion. He had to do it. Think about it. If we took all the people on that donor list and we strapped them in cars on the viaduct and lit those cars on fire, every one of you guys would be pulling over, jumping into the fire to pull them out of that car. But you won't do this. Why not? The Queens Medical Center has the only organ transplant center in Hawaii and the Pacific Rim. More than 400 people need a kidney transplant here in the islands. Doctors say being an organ donor is a start. Becoming a living organ donor, even better. The success rate of uh, kidney transplantation, especially after the uh, living donation, is close to 99 to 100%. Anne likes those odds. She thanked Mike with a painting she created herself and thanked her family for their support. It's been trying on them, and now they know that, you know, mommy's here for a long time. Justin Fujioka, KITV4 News.